Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Cancer, for the week of April 3rd. I can't believe we're already in April. Cancer, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you'd like a personal reading from me, all of that information is in the description box below. And just a reminder that this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of cancer anywhere in your chart, or if you're just checking in on a cancer, you are all welcome here and very appreciated for being here, but it might not resonate with all of you. Let's get into it. Let's get you a moon oracle card, cancer. What is going on? Let's take a peek. Moon oracle card. Prosperity lies ahead. Oh my, the new moon in Taurus. Cancer. <laughs> Yay. And when I was meditating on you earlier before this reading, I pulled the Ace of Earth, which is also a new beginning in money. <laughs> oh my God. And your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Let's see what kind of practicality needs to come in because that is the full moon in Taurus. So you've got the new moon in Taurus and the full moon in Taurus. So it's between the moon cycles for sure. Between the moon cycles, something probably just has to be released or worked on here, Cancer, and then big, big prosperity coming to you. All right. Let's see what kind of animal spirit guide is up in the ether for Cancer. Cancer, what's going on? Oh, something turned over. The buffalo. Look at the strength there. Wow. Wow. And walking that fine line between spirituality and practicality here. So that's very interesting. So yeah, your imagination is going. You're really thinking about something here. Hyena on the bottom of the deck. You are ready to go. You really, really want to bring this in. There's something that you are trying to manifest in here. Interesting. You are going after it. All right, what kind of Zen tarot card is up in the ether for Cancer? Cancer, what's going on? The outsider. Oh my God. It's like you're just waiting for something. What are you waiting for? I'm wondering here. There's just some kind of practical mythology that has to come in here or something because you're all up in your head about it. It's like just this daydream for you, just dreaming it. But we need to see how do we pull it from the ether down into your reality, down into. Uh, yeah, look at this sharing on the bottom of the deck down into the earthly realm here. Beautiful. Cancer, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. The queen of fire comes in, the queen of wands. The queen of wands gets exactly what the queen of wands wants. So you're going to get what you want here. You are going to bring it from the ether into your reality here. So relax on that. Just relax. What's up in the mind space? I'm using my everyday witch tarot cards today. Knight of Swords. Look at this. You're very um, defensive about this, very much on guard about this dream of yours or wanting to pull this in. So maybe just the resistance of it is what's holding it back altogether. So you got your eye on something now. You have absolutely got your eye on something. Interesting. Let's see. Ooh. Justice. Oh my. Look at this victory coming in for you. This karmic return coming to you. Some kind of higher authority or higher figure coming in and balancing out this, making this right here, making this right. Ooh, I love that. And the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, look at this. Working really, really hard for this. You're very much working hard right now. You're, you've got uh, a lot going on. You're handling a lot of things. You're handling a lot of different... Um, you're wearing a lot of hats right now. <laughs> very, very busy. But some kind of higher authority comes in and balances something out for you here. So that's lovely to see. That's lovely to see. Some kind of balance coming in. And to the mind space, how beautiful is that? All of the Six of Cups, the soulmate energy coming in. So, wow, wow. Some kind of balancing out of a soulmate energy here or a connection that's maybe you've been working really hard at to trying to balance it out. Maybe it's been up and down or it's been choppy or you haven't been connecting or you haven't been uh, seeing each other or something like this and you're just thinking about each other. Absolutely, you're thinking about each other. And how do I make this work? How do I make this work? What else in the mind space? The Hierophant. 
wow, the marriage counselor comes in, <laughs> the relationship counselor. But the Hierophant is all about contracts and divine contracts and soulmate energy as well. But it's about breaking up some of the fundamental beliefs about what those contracts are. So it's like taking off the rose colored glasses and seeing each other for who we really, really are. And then you kind of go through this, huh, I, I don't know. It's not that's not what I what I thought. You're not who I thought you were, but then you've changed so much too. So they're looking at you with those same kind of um, non um, uh, romanticized glasses because now some time has gone by. We're breaking up those fundamental beliefs. We're breaking up, you know, we're growing, we're learning here. So that is maybe uh, moving some things around for you for sure, at least shaking things up and having you think about that, having you think about that. For the Ten of Pentacles comes into the heart space. So yeah, this is a coming together and um, regardless of the differences here, of working it out, of having this, this higher authority come in and give you the balance that you need in this relationship to really um, connect again and to really feel that connection again. So there was just some kind of disconnect here in the past that um, really had you working on it and had you thinking about it at least. And um, now you've got the the magic uh, potion here with those eight of pentacles. She's working so diligently on that magic potion. So yeah, I think you found some kind of formula here that really works for you. And that's lovely. That's all we have to worry about. And then the others will conform to where our vibration is, where our energy is. They'll come in and just match us. So it's beautiful to feel this in your heart here, Cancer. And the star, look at this. Reciprocity, um, uh, replenishment, replenishment of hope and faith, renewal here, renewal here. Oh, I love this renewal for you, Cancer. How beautiful is that? Two of Pentacles, it came out sideways. So that always means challenge to me. It means it's a challenge. So money's been a challenge for you. You've been juggling a lot of things, maybe, you know, uh, borrowing from one to pay another. And that's always so stressful. It really had you working hard, maybe on several jobs, or you're doing some kind of gig work here or just there's a lot of things to make ends meet here but some kind of wish fulfillment in your heart space comes through and allows you to calm down about it and relax about it and really um enjoy the process enjoy the journey here don't forget it's about the journey cancer <laughs> not always the destination <laughs> of wands i like this in the heart space because you're laying down the burdens you're letting them go now you're not holding on to everything that's holding you down here and holding you back here that's the practicality side of you you're you've got this ethereal dream uh thing going on about what a future could be and then the practicality of that dream holds you down bogs you down so you're laying down the resistance to it and just be figuring you know what it is what it is and i'm gonna let i'm gonna go with the flow i'm gonna go with the flow here because i'm going to get what i want i think you have an innate sense that better days are ahead for you that the best is not behind you I think you have a very very good sense of that so that's so beautiful and the two of wands look at this planning now planning to travel planning to see other things now planning to see um, the world now planning just to travel there's travel on your mind and your heart's really calling out for it your heart wants to get out and see some new things here to feel you like you've been very stagnant for a really long time because you were so weighed down by the responsibilities and the burdens here you had just a lot on your shoulders you were taking care of a lot of other people here and um, now you have some freedom in that. There's some freedom where you're, you're cutting some of those ties because of the hierophant coming in, that change of fundamental beliefs now. You're cutting some of those ties. Whether you're still with people, it has nothing to do with it. It's how you feel about those responsibilities. And are they burdens or are they you assisting others and being nurturing and being helping and guiding? So there's a huge difference, right? When we expend our energy like that, there's a, such a big difference between really assisting others to make ourselves feel more uplifted in a higher vibration to elevate our vibration or when we're gaining resentments for that and we feel like it's a burden and we're overwhelmed. That's when it's time to cut some some of those responsibilities and there's always responsibilities in our life that we can cut three of pentacles working together you're a very hard worker you just really are a hard worker no matter you could even be retired and you work very hard at your projects at your hobbies at your um at your um 
uh, fun things too. Uh, uh, whatever you do, you do, you go all in and you finish it. You don't leave it half half going there you don't you don't abandon it you really really finish things off here eight of wands look at this <laughs> it's you making those boundaries you making those rules now you um having the no the know-how now to cut some of those responsibilities because it gets too overwhelming you get caught up in that tornado and other people's stories here just like the knight of swords is happening as well it got caught up in that swarm of birds there and everyone else's issues going on and that's what happens to us as soon as we um, go down to assist going down to help people where we meet them where they're at and they're at a, such a low vibration and we all are there i'm not judging anyone but we get stuck down there we get stuck down there because all we hear is how horrible everything is going and where we, we get stuck in that energy flow and it's all just energy right so you're now just shifting some of those out you're throwing some of those out you're not throwing the baby out with bath water but you're getting rid of some of that bath water Knight of Wands. Look at these knights and pages. That's so interesting. So messages, messages. There's a lot of fiery messages coming into you too. And it gives you some of that magic back, some of that light to guide yourself with now, some of that hope that you can see other things here and that there's magic still in the world and that you haven't, you haven't missed out on anything in this kind of burdensome time where you just had your head down and you were working and, and, uh, just, uh, go, go, go. You haven't missed out. There was no, you weren't, you didn't miss anything. King of Pentacles, there's that abundance coming to you in the foundation. I love that. There's so much abundance coming to you. There's just a huge reward coming to you. And the fool, look at this, the leap of faith, the brand new leap of faith. Cancer, something's coming in. Something's coming in to renew your faith, to renew your hope here, to change up some of those fundamental beliefs and have you thinking a little bit differently. That's what that practicality um, coming into you is. It has you thinking a little bit differently about this. And look at this on the bottom of the deck. The sun comes out for you. Cancer, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Wow, how beautiful is this? Okay, brand new start for you. Brand new start for you some kind of big prosperity coming <laughs> let's see what the energy around you is let's see what's surrounding king of chalices king of cups there's unrequited love around you somebody not speaking their mind about what they think about you and um, how they admire you or how they're um, just in awe of you a little bit because of how much you do you do a lot and they feel like if they tell you how much you do that you'll stop doing some of it <laughs> eight of wands and that could very well be true <laughs> that could very well be true but this person has to take on some more responsibility here so that you can lay down some of those burdens and not be so on guard there eight of pentacles look at these eights there's this sense of urgency to get going to get traveling to get moving to get this person gives you this sense of urgency like we have to do it now and you're so busy working and planning and trying to lay other burdens down that you're too overwhelmed to think about that it's like i, I can't talk about that yet i've got this to do i've got to tend to my garden today though i can't do that so isn't that interesting there's there's a sense of urgency from this other person what is that six of wands they want to move on they want to move on they've been doing this far too long they want to lift up those paddles and get guided out of here out of the choppy waters out of the workplace out of the um out of the uh rat race they want to get out they want to go and that's why they're giving you this sense of urgency but you seem like you have these loose ends five of pentacles there it is again you have the five of pentacles up here and they have the five of pentacles in their mind space here so they feel left out of that they don't feel like they're a part of that and that's why they want to move on and uh, do something else go see somewhere else go live somewhere else maybe they're asking you to <laughs> go live in another country or something but they're asking you to make a very very big change here and you don't see a way that you can do that right now because there's some things that you're trying to finish up here you have some projects you're trying to finish so it makes you very much on guard it's like why can't you see how i'm feeling about this or what i'm thinking about this and give to me a little bit now so that we can both go soon but you got to help me now in order for us to both go then so there's a conversation that needs to be had for sure for sure oh look at this there you are cancer this person really would do anything for you it's just a conversation that needs to be had so they've told you about their urgency here that they want to go they want to go they want to relocate they want to move they 
they want to go. And um, you haven't really told them why you don't want to go yet, why you don't want to go yet. So there's just a conversation that needs to be had. But boy, you're going to have this beautiful, beautiful conversation. And they are going to help you ease up on some of the burdens of today so that you can both really very much enjoy um, tomorrow. Two of Pentacles. They've been on the fence with this for a while. They've been waiting for you. They've been waiting for you to finish up so you could go enjoy and um yeah, they're, they're still, of course, going to wait because this is all about um, the two of yours journey. It's not just about them and it's not just about you, but uh, it's going to work beautifully. It's going to work beautifully after this conversation. Look at this with the Empress, my God, in the heart space. They just really honor you. They look up to you, hold title with them. You hold some kind of title with them and it's beautiful. They really, really honor you. They just don't know how overwhelmed you are feeling here, Cancer. So it just needs a conversation like, okay, let's Let's get a plan together though and write it down and say okay and you know whatever or six months i'm going to do this in uh five years i'm going to do that you know just plan it out with them and then they can really get off that fence and plan with you then now it's not a waiting game it just feels like it's been a waiting game the magician well this person is a beautiful creator they honor you they honor you you are magic to them but they have everything they need to go they're just really they are waiting on you that's exactly what it is Queen of Wands, Queen, they are like, again, you're both the Queen of Wands. You're both going to get what you want. You both are absolutely going to get what you want here, but there's just a timing thing. There's an absolute timing thing happening here. So it's all in divine timing. That's all. You just have to have a conversation with this person. They so much honor you that a conversation would be <laughs> welcomed. <laughs> it's better than not knowing because right now they just think you don't want to go or you... Um, don't want to be with them or there's just this kind of worry that why don't you want to just be free with me or why don't you want to do this there's this nagging worry with them that it's them and it, it honestly and from the cards anyway has nothing to do with them it has all of the things you've got going on here that you don't know how to just walk away from you're just not that person you're not that person so don't try to change yourself or feel bad about yourself you have a plan and you need to share that plan with them so that they can get on board with that plan with you. Look at this, the high priestess, the secrets revealed. So you do have this conversation and sitting on the three of pentacles on the working together and the collaboration here and the planning together here, the, the uh, um, collaboration. There's just no leader in this card. There's nobody stepping up saying, here's what we're going to do. It's just a collaboration coming together. And the high priestess is all about unknown things. So like I said, this person just doesn't know the real root cause of your resistance here page of pentacles again they'll offer you anything they have abundance moving toward them it was slow moving for them but um they have what they need now they they finally received what they need to really move on to something else here and you're just waiting to and even if they're saying well here i have what we need though i have enough i have more than enough it doesn't even have anything to do with money with you and you can really um, explain that to them it has nothing to do with money it has everything to do with my loose ends and my commitment to things and um, my sense of accomplishment. I mean, who doesn't need that? We all need that, that I did that. I did that. And that's exactly what you're going to be saying, Cancer. I did that. Queen of Swords. Look at this. You've been muzzled. You've been feeling like you can't speak up for some reason. I don't know if some of the things that are holding you back here have to do with this person. And that's why you don't really want to talk about it or something, or you think they're going to react in a certain way, you have this preconceived notion of how they're going to react, but it's sitting on your Knight of wands here where you're speaking your mind, you're speaking your action here, your plan here, where you're speaking your plan here, you're revealing your, um, your map here. And, um, you feel like you can't quite tell them yet. You feel like you can't quite tell them yet. Let's get one more card on why, 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 why? Page of Swords. So you do, you do. I mean, they're watching you. They know what's going on, but they're not realizing the commitment you have or something like this. It has to do with your loyalty or your commitment or your word about something or your assistance with somebody here that you can't leave right now because they need you and you're helping them and you are. So that's, you're very much needed here, but you're going to take that leap of faith soon. So just get that plan going. Just get that plan going. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. Just plan it out. 
five of swords and two of cups. There's the merging of energies, but it was a battle to get there. I'm wondering why you're resistant to really, really open up to this person. Of course, we all have our reasons, so there's no judgment here. <laughs> but find a way to do it. Find a way to um, um, have the conversation or, or the plan in subtle ways where you can work around that because this person really holds you in high regard. They really honor you and your opinions and your ideas, but if you're not sharing them, they can't really. Um, so they start going in their imagine, they start imagination, they start um, really blaming themselves is what it is. So um, just a conversation. So yeah, just open up to this merge the energies here, Cancer, because the sun is waiting for you. It's all abundance waiting for you. It's beautiful. It's beautiful it's travel it's seeing something new it's this soulmate coming with you it's this beautiful beautiful ending it's it's not even an ending it's like the middle of the book where it really starts now because it's the second second part of it or something so it's beautiful it's beautiful i love this reading for you eight of cups on the bottom of the deck really walking away from things really no matter how many cups you filled you know there's eight filled cups here in the traditional um, tarot and they, they're walking away. They're letting go of that. They're letting go into something brand new. And doesn't that always make us nervous, but be excited. That nervousness is um, normal. You know, it's just pushing you to experience new things. And why not? Why not? <laughs> All right, cancer. I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I hope you have a fantastical week, Cancer, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.